Welcome to the quick and dirty video on the second channel about finding out whether this thing is an electrode boiler. I said it's quick and dirty. I wasn't kidding. I'm doing very little effort here. So if you didn't see the video on humidifiers, go ahead and watch that. This is simply to answer a question about this specific humidifier or this style of humidifier. Um, I have said in the video, I don't really recommend these because they use a lot of energy and they're really annoying, but I did sell them short as far as their ability to humidify. They actually do a pretty decent job. It's just, they use a lot of energy to do that. And there's no regulation regarding how much moisture they put out. So they just run it 100%. You have no control over that. And they get, you know, you gotta descale them. They stop working. Had problems with the style of humidifier like as long as I can remember. That's kind of why I have angst about them. But this, to take a little closer look at this, this is literally just a, it's mostly plastic. And there's a small hole, which hopefully you can see. It's black, so it's hard to, hard to know what you can see. And there's a small hole here. This is the jug, and you can see there's the same sort of mineral crap that, it, that I got out from descaling it just sitting in here. And it's very, very hard to get it out. It's just, you know, uh, Every, every humidifier is gross in its own way. And I, I recognize that, but um, I just don't. The only, I mean, these are cheap, that's good, but they use a lot of energy and I'm rambling on. Anyway, there's two Torx screws here. Let's unscrew them. This is just a little neon indicator. And yes, this is fairly dusty. It's been in a closet for, I don't know, two, three years. That did not accomplish much at all. We may need to be destructive. Oh. Never mind, that accomplished a lot. Yeah, this looks like it's an electrode boiler. That's amazing. It's literally... You can see the power leads. Uh, I don't know how well you can see them, but the, the power line's going right there. And then there's a resistor for the little neon right there. And then they just go straight into these two electrodes. You can see how much skip. This is slightly terrifying. Now I could plug this thing into the wall and... <laughs> wow. I wonder if they're still made like this. Cause I mean, this thing doesn't have a date on it. It's probably at least seven years old or so. Maybe not though, but yeah, just look at, look at, uh, look at all the crud in here. It's a weird kind of mineral buildup too. It's not just like lime scale. I really want to get a voltmeter and just check that. Let's, let's do that. I mean, this is only what? Very terrifying, but I'm doing it for you. Ugh. Just make sure this is somewhere, nowhere near where I will touch it. Make sure the power cord is secure and won't drag it down. I am a little safe. This is my new cheap meter for doing things that are abusive to meters. I actually got this specifically to check current draw on a circuit that was faulty. There's 120 volts between these two points here, folks. Good Lord. Let's, un let's unplug this. Well, we've, uh, look at all this. This is unplugged. Just look at all the scale that's been building up on these. And honestly, I don't think this got all that much use. I remember, 
I want to say, because like I, this is technically my parents that I borrowed from them, but they got it for me not that long ago. I was in high school, I think. I don't know though. There's no date on the thing. I'd love to know, because it it's it's uh, we had one, uh, a very old one, the same sort of thing, but you know it was like beige and gray and just very old and it stopped working, but I wonder if it could have been descaled and rescued. But I'm really, really surprised that this got so scaly. Because I do not, th I think this was used only with uh, Lake Michigan water, which isn't, you know, like the softest water in the world, but it's not terribly hard either. I don't know. I really don't know, but yes, it's an electrode boiler. That's all it is. I really didn't know that electrode boilers existed in uh, in a US consumer product, but apparently they do. And that's how these are so cheap because it's literally just a power cord going to this, which is amazing. And I noticed it says here, uh, where was it? had a power draw on it somewhere. Okay. They, uh, 5.8 amps or less. So this thing could potentially draw, what, 5.8 at 120. So five, 650 watts. Maybe it was only drawing 200 because I only filled it like to there. Man. This is, sorry, if you couldn't see that, I only filled it like to there. I, don't, I mean, maybe I shouldn't be surprised by this, but I'm just surprised by this. Anyway, thanks for watching this follow-up video. It is in fact just two electrode sticks sticking in the water and going, making it go zappy zappy, which boils it. Intriguing.